Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how to change a subnet IP on a DDWRT router. It's going to be very short and sweet. Open a browser, type in the IP of the router. If you've had it from us, it's going to be 192.168.12.1, click enter. If you tick one of the tabs, obviously I've got my password cached, so it'll normally ask you for username and password there. Enter admin and password. And if you come down to this section here, you'll see the local IP address. Now, this is how you access the router, which is here, obviously. Now, by the subnet, I mean this number here. We set them on 12. The reason why we set them on 12 is most home networks are either 0 or 1. Now, if you obviously, because it's a dual router setup, you don't want them on the same IP because you can only have one DHCP server running on a subnet. So it just basically, without complicating matters, it just doesn't work. So that just easy to say that. But if for whatever reason you want to change this subnet to something more memorable for yourself, you just literally come down to here, obviously change that to say 15, or no, actually I'll have to change that to say 18. And then obviously this is the IP of the router. If you want to call it 254, you can do if you wish. Obviously one's normally quite fine for that. And then just simply come down to the bottom and click apply settings. Well, it doesn't actually reboot, but it'll uh, it, it sort of you can't get access to it for a few minutes. So we're just going to let that uh, sort itself out. Sometimes you do have to actually turn the router off and just reboot it in between changing subnets. But uh, hopefully for this demonstration, it should be okay. Just thinking about it. No, it's not going to access it. Okay, as I say, sometimes you do have to reboot the router. So I'm just going to quickly power it off at the back. Power it back on. I'm just going to have to wait for the lights to come on. I might as well just speed this up until, uh, obviously, uh, it's ready to access. Okay, it's back up now. So hopefully if we uh, type in the IP, 192.168.18.1, and click Enter. There we go, I've got access to it now. Select that and obviously you're going to need to enter admin and tab it and password. Okay, and as you can see, we're, we're here. And that's as simple as easy as that, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully catch you in the next one.